Danny Segura for MMA Junkie. I'm here at Fight Ready in Arizona, standing next to Kelvin Gastelum, who has a fight in early 2023. We didn't see him in 2022, but we're gonna get him early next year. Uh, Kelvin, first of all, uh, how, how are you feeling? I know that it's, it was a bit of a rough year for you, right? No activity, no fights, you dealt with some injuries. Talk to me overall, how's 2022 and how are you feeling now? Yeah, it hasn't been my best year. Uh, but you know, as always, I'm an optimistic person, so I've always kept my head pretty, pretty positive even though you know it hasn't been the best of situations for me this year um so here we are man i'm recovered from my from my injury um i'm about to jump into another camp here with fight ready and hopefully the fight does go through you know yeah. last time i got injured one week out and it was very unfortunate and and, and um you know it's been a, it's been a rough process to get to this point but here we are yeah and I was talking to you off camera, and you were telling me how you know you've been here for, for a bit now, for almost a year at Fight Ready, mm -hmm. but you you, you still haven't fought right. uh, under Fight Ready. So, right. are you excited to so, sort of show everybody like the new tools that you have picked up uh, now training under a new gym? Oh yeah, no, I've learned so much. I think my game has grown so much as well. Um, you know, it's just a different environment, different set of eyes, different yeah. different way of doing things, and uh, it's worked out well. I've, I had a full training camp. Until I got injured, so yeah, man, I feel like uh, I can't wait to get in there and show with yeah. the people I've been working on. And this is the first time I, I interview you, I think, since the switch. Um, why, why did you switch from California Kings MMA to, to here? Well, first of all, California, I had to get the hell out of there. Uh, you know, it was crazy expensive. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it was actually something that had ran through my mind before. Mm -hmm. And when the opportunity came to move, I, I freaking did it. And uh, other than that, uh, you know, I need to change my game up. Things yeah. aren't going the way I want them in my career. I need to, I need to switch things up. And I, I made some radical changes by coming out here uh, to fight ready, coming out here to Arizona and, uh, you know, changing my whole environment, changing where I live and getting real uncomfortable, yeah. you know. And uh, I think that's really what it was. was uh, I was in a really good good comfortable position out in, in Huntington Beach living really good um, but I needed to get out of that I needed to switch things around in my life and make sure you know this is this is really what I wanted to do and uh, it is yeah and what are you hoping that this change brings to your career like what what specific things do you think it'll add uh, what things have you added in your game since you've moved here well this is a big wrestling town this is a big wrestling yeah. community so we definitely worked on my wrestling you know and uh, trying roots? to make yeah, yeah going back to my roots and, and really cultivating it with my with my striking and putting it all together and I feel like my game is, is, is the best that it's ever been because of that. Mm -hmm. Nice. And uh, I saw that like a four days ago or five days ago, something like that, you posted a photo with, uh, in your fight with Israel Adesanya, that's probably the most competitive fight we've ever seen the champion in. Uh, in quite a while, right? Maybe with Robert Whitaker, the second one was sure. pretty competitive, but like, I mean, you, you took it to him. Sure. Um, that, that Kelvin Gastelum, uh, what, what, I guess, what, is there any difference between that Kelvin Gastelum and, and the one that we saw in previous performances? Uh, was it just, you know, you had some tough outings? Like, what exactly can you pinpoint to? Because you almost beat the champion. I mean, some <laughs> yeah. people saw, saw the fight going your way. Sure, yeah, and I've gotten that more than one time, you know. People people always come up to me and tell me I won. And yeah. It's like, I don't have the belt around me, so I definitely didn't win. Um, yeah, man, it's, it was just my mentality. Mm -hmm. My mentality back then was different. I think I, I, I kind of got away from it for, for, for those few years. I took a few years off from winning. But I'm back, man. I'm back, and I'm ready to get back on track. Most definitely. And let me ask you about that uh, title fight coming up at 185. Israel Asanya, Alex Pereira fighting in November 12th yeah. in MSG. Um, what do you think of that fight, and do you think the champion is, is going to keep his belt in that one? Yeah, I'm excited for that one. That one, I mean, Alex Pereira, it would not surprise me if he comes out on top. I mean, he's already got two, two fights on top of Izzy, you know. But uh, I think the MMA experience will, will carry... You know, favors uh, is Rod Asanya. He's got, he's just yeah. got more MMA fights, um, and has been doing MMA for for quite a while now. So I just think that that experience will will favor him. All right, Kelvin. Well, I appreciate the time. Looking forward to Thank your you fight man. here in January, and uh, yeah, thanks for your time. Thanks.